Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Creation Channel. My name is Trev and in this video, I'll be showing you how to import and use transitions from Creation Graphics in Premiere Pro. Now, even though I'll be using Premiere Pro, these plugins are available for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So you're still able to use these graphics if you use one of those programs. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for starters, I'll start up a new project. We'll call this the transition example project and name the sequence the vid and then we're going to find where our footage is located all right and then create the project all right so we have our clips imported and now it's time to bring in the creation graphics transitions after you download and unzip the folder you can hit Control i to go to where in your hard drive the graphics are found i have them here and i select both the transitions and the glitch transitions hit ok hit ok then I offline all. Now, if you see here in the project window, a lot of folders came in, but we really only need to focus on three, which will be the glitches folder, the transitions folder, and if you choose the twitches folder. So I'll go ahead and mute this track because we won't need it for this tutorial. And this first clip will be the establishing shot that I use to segue into the following clips. So I'll go ahead and start the clip from maybe about right here. Hit control K to cut. What about when I take the easy bar? All right, and then I walk off and then I'm gonna have it transition into a clip of me doing a bicep exercise. Let's say this one. Okay, so the establishing shot is going to be, I take the easy bar and this is to show that it's going to be an arm day. Many times I'll put text over the establishing shot. So let's say something like this, right? Using the urban title as well, also from Creation Graphics. You know, something simple, right? Prop it in and then say arm day, right? All right, so we got our text in, it's gonna say arm day. And then we want to transition into this next clip, okay? So next you can select where you want your clip to start. I want it to start from here, right at the beginning of the movement cut, and then bring it in. All right, so this is what it looks like without the transition. Arm day, and then immediately into the next clip. Now, what I like to do is I like to add the glitch zoom in transition because it kind of shows like movement that you're punching into the video. And so what you'll do is you can take the object from the project window and instead of dragging it onto the timeline like you would for other objects like uh, other clips or audio, what you'll do is you'll double click it to open it up in a new sequence and you'll cut or copy and paste the clips from this new sequence onto the sequence with your actual clips, okay? So again, do not just drag onto the timeline directly from the same sequence. Double click, it'll open up this new sequence that you can see here. And now you're able to take this transition and paste it into the sequence that actually holds your clips. All right, so I'm gonna drag it over to where the first clip ends and the second clip begins. Now what I'll do is I'll line up the center with the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second. Now it's super easy to do this when you have this snap and timeline feature enabled because without it, you're kind of, you know, you don't have those guidelines. It won't snap in the timeline, right? But you can hit S as a little shortcut to enable it. And now you're able to align your clips very easily. All right, so we have our transition in. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so not great right now, right? Biggest reason is because the default is for it to be landscape. But as you see, this is a portrait clip. So we're going to need to rotate the different pieces of this transition 90 degrees. That can be done by clicking each portion of the transition going into the effect control window and just changing the rotation to 90. So again, before it was zero, you just go into the effect controls window for each piece of the transition and set it to 90. So now we have arm day transitioning into 
the bicep curls. Very, very nice transition. I personally don't know how I would go about creating this manually. So these plugins save a lot of time when it comes to creativity and just pushing the editing process along. All right, so this is a glitch transition and uh, we see the bicep curls are going. Next, we can segue into, let's say, this tricep push down, right? So I'll start the clip here. All right, so let's say right about here. Again, bring it over. It snaps right up against the next clip because of my snap in timeline feature enabled. And now instead of doing a glitch, I'll do one of the transitions from uh, the transitions folder instead of the glitches folder. So again, the three main folders that you would really focus on, the glitches folder, the transitions folder, and the twitches folder if you choose to use it. All right, so we already zoomed in to show the beginning of the movements, right? I'll go ahead and show on this even more because, you know, for time's sake. So, clip begins, it's arm day. We punch in to the video. We have the arm, the bicep curls going and we transition into the push downs. So now to show movement of the next exercise, what I'll do is I will choose the transition left to show swiping to the left as if it's in sequential order, right? Now again, you don't wanna just drag onto the timeline like this. What you'll do is you'll double click, open up a brand new sequence, and then you can take it from that new sequence, paste onto the timeline, and you paste, and you move it into the middle of where the first clip ends and the second clip begins. So again, if you look, it shifts horizontally. Uh, but what we want is we want it to match up with the portrait. And so each piece of the transition will be rotated 90 degrees. And then now we see that movement. So again, super simple, very effective, great time saver. So again, sorry for the top of the clip. We have our glitch zoom in. We have the biceps, transition to the triceps, and then let's see if we have another tricep movement, perfect. And we'll start this clip from right about here. All right, close the gap. And uh, we'll use a twitch here. So we had the glitch, zoom in, then we swipe, and then we'll go into a twitch. Here I'll do the twitch zoom in. Again, not dragging onto the timeline, but rather opening up the sequence. I only take the bottom portion, leaving this retro futurism 80s, 90s dynamic wave. I leave that and then I paste the twitch onto the timeline. I zoom in to make sure that I'm aligned. So the center of the transition aligns with the end of the first clip and then going into the second clip. So again, also the default is for it to shift horizontally. So we want to change the pieces of the transition to 90, rotate those 90 degrees. And then we're able to see the transition from the biceps to the triceps into a new triceps. So let's look at the finished product. We have our arm day intro, glitching zooming in to the biceps, swiping over to the triceps, twitching into the triceps. Now, depending on the vibe that I'm going for, I may not add a transition after every single clip like I did in this example, but adding transitions to your videos is a great way to add dynamics and keep your viewer engaged. So yeah, that's all for this video. Head over to creation.store to get your hands on these and many more plugins and use code TREV at checkout to save some money. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this and to stay up to date at all the cool things happening over here at Creation. Happy creating, and I'll see you in the next one.